So a PhD in engineering is very different from a bachelor's or a master's, and it's definitely different from a regular job. It's like its own weird thing. That is for good reason, because generally PhD students get to work on very different things, but they all share a common theme. And that common theme is simply to expand the general body of knowledge. But the cool thing about engineering, in contrast to natural science, is that engineering is applied science. Every engineering research project generally motivated by an application which is useful to humanity in some way. Now, the main difference between a PhD in engineering and just like a regular engineering job is that in a job or like let's say with a bachelor level skill set generally trying to solve a problem using existing solutions for example if you work at like an antenna design firm and you get like a project where you have to build I don't know, a Bluetooth antenna with like a specific requirement that has already been done. Uh, this is something you can expect. However, for a researcher or a PhD student in engineering, uh, this is not the type of stuff you would assign to that person. That would be a waste of their skill set. Because the whole idea behind doing a PhD in engineering is you're looking for new solutions, new ways of doing things. And the beauty is that some of these new ways are theory oriented. Some of them are like very application oriented. But again, because engineering is applied science, usually it sits on somewhere on the spectrum. Now let's take the case of electrical engineering. There are many branches within electrical engineering engineering like communication systems, power systems, embedded systems. You could basically pick one, the one you find most interesting, and then go figure out what the advances in technology look like in there. And then you basically are asking yourself, how can I take that and improve it? So once you pick a branch that you're interested in and you dive deep into the technology, PhD then becomes about finding new ways to improve how that technology is, or even better, coming up with new ideas from scratch. And you try to create a solution that has not existed before. And that can be done through mathematical modeling, simulation, or experimentation. Some electrical engineering students will work entirely on like the physics and the theory aspect of things and, and it'll, it'll be very theoretical. Some will take that physics and try to build devices and materials with them and try to actually tinker and, and use a hands-on approach to actually figure out what's going on. Some electrical engineering students are not interested in coming up with new physics or improving things on the physics side and will just take the standard equations but apply them to come up with new solutions in, a, in other applications. For example, in areas of like computing or communication systems. Some PhD students will work on coming up with better hardware and designing new types of circuits and new ways of building things. And that list is really long, but the key idea of this video is that even though engineering is about solving problems, a PhD is all about just using creativity to push the boundaries of knowledge and come up with new solutions. And that could be very theoretical ways, but it could be in very application oriented ways. So you're very flexible in that sense. And the reason I actually made this video is because um, someone left a comment saying, hey, I'm trying to decide between a PhD in engineering and a PhD in physics, uh, what should I consider? And if it were up to me, I would definitely go with a PhD in electrical engineering because electrical engineering is based on electromagnetics, which is really the foundation of all the cool physics we see regarding like waves and charges. And I don't know, like this camera recording right now, the cell phone, the Wi-Fi internet, like um, this is all electromagnetics. And within electrical engineering, you'll find many cool theoretical areas to work on if that's your type of thing. But the cool thing is that it will be hoping to achieve some type of application. Now, I have made a video about what I specifically work on as an electrical engineering student. So you could check it out over here.